Welcome back, everyone, to The Dose, presented by SCB TV Channel 182. I'm here with the one and only Dr. Colin Steele. Now, we're putting the focus today on the silent killer, hypertension. Now, many in your profession know how serious this can be, but someone watching us right now may not be aware of the true dangers. Explain. So, hypertension is yes, known as the silent killer, and a lot of people actually just don't know that they have it. So, we really encourage people to come in and get screened because you will not know and may not have any symptoms. Some people come in when they have chest pain, shortness of breath, but what we want to do is actually prevent that from even happening. So, if we catch it early, we can prevent a lot of really devastating effects like stroke, wow. um, heart attacks, vision loss, um, peripheral vascular disease. There's a lot of things wow. that actually are affected just by high blood pressure that people aren't aware of. No. So Dr. Steele, I know we say that hypertension is the silent killer, but we're very much aware of words like stroke and heart attack. And you're saying if these things go untreated, high mm -hmm. blood pressure, it could possibly lead to it. Yes, so over time actually, blood pressure will actually cause damage in the vessels. So if not treated, you put yourself at a way higher risk okay. to actually either have a bleed from too much pressure in the brain yes. or the plaque will build up and you can have a stroke from oh one of those pieces actually breaking off. Wow, and that's very serious mm -hmm. right there. Now, I know like so many of uh, our disease states, we talk about uh, guidelines, if you will, that are mm -hmm. set. I know you and your medical colleagues here are very serious about meeting those guidelines. Mm -hmm. What are the guidelines for blood pressure? Where do you want it? So our goal pretty much overall is less than 140 over 90. So there's actually different stages of hypertension. Okay. So there's pre-hypertension, which is actually considered uh, 120 to 139 over 80 to 89. And then stage one is actually one, uh, 130 to 149 above 90 to 99 diastolic. And then there's stage two, which is above okay. 160 over 100. So if we can catch people in the pre-hypertensive state or even Absolutely. stage one, we're preventing a lot of problems down the road. Wow, now someone watching us right now may be saying, but if I go and Dr. Steele checks my blood pressure, they may already be in stage two, and they're saying, but I don't wanna be put yet on another medication. Explain how it doesn't always mean you have to go on medication, and if so, the options today are much more manageable than in the past. Yeah, luckily we do have a lot of medications out there now, and even combo meds, so oh, wow. we don't have to actually keep continuing to add an additional pill, which people don't like, yes. but then we also counsel them on their diet, exercise, you know, watching their salt intake, okay. being active, um, weight loss can actually improve their, their blood pressure nice. drastically. I have to ask this now, there's so many disease states and sometimes certain groups are more prone to have it. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone that's more likely to have hypertension than other groups? Actually, African Americans are at more risk, okay. and we actually do have to sometimes treat a little bit differently with them. So there's our there's you know there's your typical standard medicines that you may use for people that typically work, but African Americans we have to yes. consider other um, medication treatments. Wow, and I guess that's why it's so critical to mm -hmm. get screened because I don't want to miss the obvious. But when we say the silent killer, I could have blood pressure issues and not even realize it. That's right. That's right. And actually, one out of three people right now have adults have blood pressure. One out of six. Oh, wow don't even know it wow. so it, it's a it's a big deal I know your colleagues here at Eagles Landing Family Practice you screen up uh, all of your patients coming in for blood pressure issues as well yep. and I know you're really big about hoarding in in the community to allowing others to know that they should know their numbers mm -hmm. explain your efforts in the community so yeah we actually do a lot of the runs in the community we, we support a lot of the charities um, because we want people to know about us because we literally want to prevent them from having yeah. any of these disease states and helping them not only get them healthy, but keep them healthy. Oh wow, and that's so important to keep them healthy. Now, when we talk about hypertension, blood pressure, you know someone is saying, well, my dad has high blood pressure, he's being treated, but he's in his early 70s, Dr. Steele. Does that mean that individual, perhaps that daughter, she's 37, 38, will she likely have high blood pressure as well? Potentially, but as we get older, our blood vessels actually stiffen. Oh, wow. So we're more likely to have hypertension as we get older. But family history is huge. You want to know your family history because, again, it is the silent killer, and you wouldn't know potentially. So knowing your family history so puts lets us know that, okay, we need to look out for these red flags and be aware of them. You know, I know you mentioned weight and obesity, and of course we keep horning in on that in 2017. So many health issues surround it. But again, link that to blood pressure and how serious it can be to help prevent the stroke and heart attack you spoke about earlier. So blood pressure is one of the most common 
you know, uh, preventable diseases that we can actually treat and make a big difference, but it's linked to so many other diseases, oh, wow. such as, you know, cholesterol, yes. metabolic syndrome, diabetes, kidney failure is huge. So, and again, undiagnosed, you're damaging those vessels over time, and but once kidney disease sets in, we can't reverse it. Oh, wow. And of course, there's so many services offered by Eagles Landing Family Practice mm -hmm. here. Maybe there's a young man, he's 43 years old, he hasn't had a physical or seen a physician or medical provider uh, in nearly a decade. Mm -hmm. Make a case for him to come in and get screened, especially for blood pressure. That's right. Anybody, honestly, um, over the age of 18, you absolutely should be screened for high blood pressure and come in for your physicals because then we can potentially discover something way early on and you want to go every year it's okay. really important things can change you don't know it but they can they can change yes. and then we're there to help you we, we'll screen you we'll treat you if if need be we also have diagnostics okay. available if they need to so such as an echocardiogram yes. and a stress test we can do all of that here and really tailor to their needs. Dr. Still, so many of us say, but I'm not in pain, right? So why do I have to go? <laughs> yes. So, because we we actually d will treat you when you're sick. We love to treat you when you're okay. sick. But we actually want to keep you from being sick. That's right. And so you don't want to, honestly, we want to see you when you're well yearly so we can go over everything, make sure that you we've answered all of your questions. Yes. And that you're aware of your potential health risks in the future. So just coming in for, you know, maybe a sinus infection. Yes we're not getting the whole picture for you. Okay. So we really want to treat the whole head to toe. And is it fair to say for someone that's in their 20s, 30s, or 40s, for them to really take care of themselves and get screened, come in for physicals from Eagles Landing Family Practice and other providers because it can really help prevent more serious diseases later yeah. that often our parents and grandparents have. That's right. So um, blood pressure in general, on average, if it's not controlled, can take off five years of your life. Oh my. So if we get in early, Again, we're treating, we're slowing down this process or, you know, keeping you from ever even having these dev devastating effects. Wow. So even though we may feel like we're healthy and we're young, all of us are getting older. So yes, we, we want to age gracefully and healthy. As healthy as possible. As and healthy of course, as possible. The service of the Eagles Landing Family Practice provides that. Mm -hmm. Stay with us on The Dose. We are serving up some information and much more. Mm -hmm.